What in the world? <clears throat> One, two, three. I want a rim shine, diggy diggy. Rim shine, come on. Rim shine, diggy diggy. Rim shine, come on. Boop, clack, boop, clack, boom, clack, boom, clack, boom, clack. <laughs> hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome and or welcome back. My name is Duran Search, a singer, songwriter, producer, performer, actor, if you nasty. And welcome to the house of the unofficial. And sometimes, as you will see here, the unprofessional fragrance, skincare, guru, baby. Y'all like my whole stoppers. I got these from Erica Badu. That's why I was boom, clack, boom, clack, boom, clack. Ooh, look at it. See, when, when I put them on this color, Molly, you in danger. Molly, you are in danger, girl. <laughs> but anyways, yes, we're not going to wear these. But Erica Badu, Dallas is on. Erica Badu, baby, what is going on? Let me tell you something. These past few days, this week, I have been feeling so lethargic. I don't know what is going on. So I want somebody who can tell me like, what's what's the tea with these? So I went and got these because I'm like, my energy is giving very low vibrational. So I went to the altars when I was buying some here that we're gonna talk about. And I got these from the uh, Jenners and the Kardashians, whatever. Yeah, I know we don't like them, blah, blah, blah. I don't know them, I don't care. I was just trying to see if I can get something to help me with my energy, baby, because my energy has been low. Let me tell you something. I've been on these for, I think about maybe two weeks, perhaps, or something like that. Um, I feel like I've gotten tired or <laughs> is, it, is it just me? I just feel like I have been so extra tired these past few days. Um, I guess, you know, I work overnight. I work four days a week, uh, 9 p.m. to 8 a.m. I'm working tonight and then I have three days off. Um, but I work and then I get up. I'm a caregiver. Then there's appointments, then there's things for me to do. I just went to the studio the other day to try to finish up my song. Um, it's about time. And but I don't think I'm still I still don't think I'm doing that much to where I'm just tired. So if I feel like this tomorrow, I'm definitely calling my doctor who set up an appointment because I just feel so lethargic and these ain't helping. Now, if these help for you, please let me know. Now I know things have to go in your system for a little while. It's been about two weeks since I've been taking these. So I would think by now I would feel like a little difference, but um, I feel like I'm not blaming these. I just don't know. It could be something wrong with me. I just feel like since I've been on these, I've been extra tired. So um, I don't know. If you've had some luck with these, please let me know. So in this uh, this episode of Did I Waste My Money? Um, Did I waste my money on this? <laughs> Did I waste my money? Because these were about, they won't sell, but I think they're normally $30-something, dollars, but I think I paid $20-something, 20, 20 dollars, That's which is a lot for a piece of, you know, uh, supplement. But uh, anyway, yes, let me know. Like I said, if I feel like this tomorrow, I'm definitely going to um, contact my doctor because this is not, it's just not normal for me to be this tired. It's just not normal. I'm, I'm tired. I'm irritable. <laughs> you can't tell. But when I get irritated now, I, uh, I've learned my, I've learned to control my irritation. Like I, like yesterday, I was so irritated about so like everything was just going on, just irritating me because I feel pressure at my job. I feel pressure being a caregiver, then her doctors are giving me pressure, my siblings pressure, it's just all around pressure. So this is a uh, PSA to anybody who's trying to date me. If you think you're going to come in here and try to pressure me, please don't. And it's not like I just am somebody who needs freedom. I just don't need no added stress or pressure. If you going to come in my life, and this is friends too, come in my life, add pressure, add stress, baby, you got to go because i'm just i'm just tired of talking crazy everybody because everybody ain't learning their balance they're not they're, they're not learning 
you know, how to, you know, treat me. A lot of people, not everybody, my friends are great. But there's a lot of people, y'all, you have to kind of snap and let them know I ain't taking that shit. You know, I don't want to do that because I come off as the angry short man because I'm only five, four and a half. And so, you you know, they start saying he got a short man syndrome, something wrong here. But they don't tell you that you don't mean, then I had to, bitch, you know, I had to let them know, let them know it's a little nigga inside of me. <laughs> you don't know me fool about a little kid, but you don't be fool about that because I will, you know, you, know, you can hear me through it. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I just don't need nobody to come to my life and add stress to me. So it's not like, because I feel like I have this urge to just be free. I don't want, I don't like schedules. And I thought something like really wrong with me. And I, I realized it lately that it's because I'm confined and I'm being pressured in so many directions. That's why I have this desire for freedom. Like, I don't want to worry about having to wake up and do something. I want to I want to wake up and live. So um, if anybody got like a uh, in application to that soft life, everybody talking about, I want that. I want a rich soft life. I want to be rich and just live. Okay. If y'all got any application, <laughs> anybody hiring for the soft life, please contact me because I really just want to be rich and wake up and have absolutely nothing to do unless I want to do it. Anyways, yes. So let, before I talk about, you know, stuff, I, on this episode again, <laughs> of did I waste my money? I bought some New Balances because I feel like, well, not feel like, I heard that they were good for my feet. You know, I'm, I'm 42, so my feet ain't the same as they used to. So I bought me some, I ordered them online, and then I went and picked them up. And so, <laughs> so I picked them up here, and here are my, my New Balances, yes. And so, when I went there, I was like, hey, I heard these were really good for your feet. And, you know, um, you know, he tried them on, you know, took my socks off. Luckily for me, this is why you have to take a bath every single day. They surprised me like, hey, we need to know if they fit. So take your shoes off. And, you know, he opened the shoes for me and put them on for me and everything. Very nice. Good looking white man. And I'm like, oh, the good thing I took a bath. That's why you got to be clean because you just never know. <laughs> you just never know what's going to happen. And so I was like, hey, I heard these were good for your feet. So he looked at me, very nice, very nice gentleman. He's like, uh, basically, in so many words, um, you got the cheap pair. So you might, <laughs> if you want the real support, you might need to get the real ones, the, you know, the more expensive ones. I was like, okay, I get it. So I have to pay $200 to get, you know, the foot support everybody's talking about. But anyways, I got these. I don't really wear tennis shoes like that um, because I'm 42 and I just don't. No, I'm kidding. I just really don't have any place. You know, so now I need to work on buying myself some new clothes because, baby, when I tell you I wear the same thing over and over, that washing machine is tired of me because I wash every week, every Thursday. Okay, anyway, so I'm really going to just talk about things that I have, just a few things. It's not going to be a long video, which is already long. <laughs> just a few things that I've purchased, and I just kind of want to know, did I waste my money? Um... One of my, no, I didn't. I know some people will think that, but I don't think so. But anyways, so Ulta had, you know, I love my Nemat Vanilla Musk. If you don't know, now you know. I love this. This is one of my faves. And so they were having a sale on this. So these are normally like 20 something dollars. And I think they're on sale for like 15 or something like that. And so... I went and got, you know, just a few, you know, I didn't want to do too much. So I got one, two, and then I got the roller ball. Um, yeah, so <laughs> this shows you how much I love this Nimat oil. I'm actually wearing some today. I love this. Um, I have the, um, there is one, I, I don't know why, it's an amber one, I believe, that I really love. But I put that one in my Vaseline oil. And I mix that and I use that, um, you know, when I'm wearing something that's kind of ambery. And so I really like the whole concept of putting this into an oil um, to give that oil just a little, little added smell. But these are really good if, you know, I give me a little handful poop and then just put it right over my lotion. And you don't have to do that too. So that's what I did with this. So as you can see, I love these. I would have gotten more, but I'm like, Duran, please. There's actually two others that I've uh, shown on my channel. Um, there's, uh, one, I forgot, it's, it's Egyptian musk or something like that. 
and then there's the uh, amber musk or something. It's one of those, but one of them smell like um, uh, one of them, you know, that old men, uh, what's that uh, stuff that the men used to use back in the day? Um, the, uh, what is it called? Oh my God. The old school, the old school shaving stuff. What, what is it called? Is, is it, it was in a green bottle. Oh my goodness. This is so crazy. It's slipping my freaking brain. What is that stuff called? Do, 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 do. Let me, whatever. Anyways, it smells like old school shaving cream. <laughs> so, but I might have to get used to it because I wore it like a piece of it and it was kind of giving me my life. But I'm like, I don't know. I might need to spray some on top of it. But yeah. I say that did I, I asked did I waste my money, but uh I don't think I did because I like this. Okay. So these are one of my favorites, and these that's one thing that I feel like is going to have to stay in my collection. Now you see, I had this on a short. I have emptied my vanilla musk fragrance. Yes. I should have got this. This was on sale too. I really like this, but as you see, I think I've only had this like two months. <laughs> I think maybe two months. Um, this, this is not as strong as the oil. So if you're trying to debate which one to get, because you know, this was bigger, I would say the oil because the oil lasts longer Then you know what I do with the oil is I put the oil on my body, all on my body, whatever under here, my body, whatever I have left, I just wipe it down on here, on my clothes. So I can give myself my bottom down here. I'll just give it all, whatever's left on my hand is going over my body. So I don't know if I will actually get this again. I'll probably stick with the oil because I know based on using this and the oil, the oil is a lot better. Anyway, so here I want to talk about now. I You know what this is called? Uh, did I waste my money? But you know, what? I didn't waste my money because I like all these, but it's one I'm questioning. So I went on a date maybe February. I went on maybe two dates in February. And so, so I'm like, please tell me the protocol for dates. I'm on a dating um, break indefinitely. I don't think dating love is probably meant for me. So I'm just not, you know, but, you know, if it happens, it happens. If it don't, <sighs> I like being stress-free. That's, that's pretty much it. And so I don't know the dating protocol because I haven't been on dates prior to, but both of the dates i bought like gift bags <laughs> and then even when my uh, one of my friends came from out of town and we went out to dinner one time i bought her a gift bag full of i just put stuff in it that i really like and i want them to test out so uh one of the things that i gave one of the guys i went out day with um that i don't talk to anymore <laughs> so i i want i really want to get my stuff back but you can't you can't do that but anyways, this is from Topicals, and this is the hydrating moisturizer. And it says here that you have to apply even layer onto dry skin, itchy skin, or eczema patches. Apply as needed. So I have one of these already open. I have this. Um, I've already used one, and then I gave one as a gift. So I really do have to have this in stock here because I really love this. And how I use this, okay, let's get it focused. Yes, God. How I use this, um, some days when I'm feeling really dry, I will um, I will use it as a mask, like I'll put on my moisturizer and put it on over and then just go to sleep, kind of like a sleeping mask, and then I wake up and then wash my face again, you know, or what I like to do also, because my skin gets really dry, especially during the winter time, is after, either before or after, depends on if I remember, I'll put this on, I'll put a small layer of this all on my body like lotion. And then I'll put my regular lotion on top of it. Or if I forget, I'll put, I have the lotion already on. Then I'm like, oh, I forgot to put this on. Then I'll put this on top of it. So um, it can give me that added moisture because I really hate to be dry and ashy. Because you know what? Somewhat, sometimes it can be painful. Now, let me get this to focus up. There, you see it? So I really love this. This is a black-owned brand. So if you have eczema, patchy skin, this is really... Uh, good for stuff like that. I'm not saying you gotta buy it. I'm just saying it's good for me. Okay. Now, I got in the mail. I think yeah, today we have the Fleur, the new body sprays from Fleur, and we have Moonstone and Dragon Fruit. So this one here, 
these I believe were just released maybe a few days ago or so. I did the uh 24 hour access for Sephora, or they you know they put it on sale like 24 hours before the release date. And here is Dragon Fruit. Now, one of these I'm wearing today, so that's why I haven't talked about my center today. One of these I'm wearing right now. And so first, we're going to talk about Moonstone. This one here is a fruity floor, has notes of green apple, pineapple, black cur black currant, lemon zest, mandarin orange, jasmine, um, base notes of sandalwood, vanilla, amber. I think geranium. Yeah, it says geranium in the uh, heart notes as well. This right here, I uh, do smell an apple note in there. I don't know if it's green apple, but I do smell an apple note. This fragrance here this might have to grow on me because this is giving very much like a a very is that a lemon note in here this is not lemon a lemon zest yes <laughs> um it's giving very much a lemon male fragrance like a very masculine leaning um lemon fragrance and you know as it dries a little bit um I still get a hint of that apple, but not too much of it. As far as the sandalwood, it I think that's where the earthiness comes from because it's giving me very like earthy lemon and very like something a man would wear. Even though I'm a man, you know, <laughs> I'm a man. But you know, when you you think about me, you think well, you think about. Anyways, there's a certain type of man who wears this, and you know he. He's probably a little more masculine, you know, but probably not. He's probably just hiding it. He just likes me. But anyways, <clears throat> but it's giving me very, it's giving like the dry down of earthy lemon male fragrance. It smells like a body spray of, what is that fragrance? I don't want to say it's the Valentino green one, the male version, but it kind of, Okay, hold on just a second. Let me go get it. Ah! See, look at this. Look at this. Ghetto. Oh, this is ghetto. Oh, I am so... Dude, don't get the back of my head because I'm going ball back there, okay? Well, I'll be back. People trying to stay alive. The ghetto. This here is the ghetto. Wow! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Okay, we're gonna have to hurry this up because uh he about to fall at this chair. Okay, so this is the one I was talking about, this Valentino right here. So I No, I don't think so. I don't know what the hell I was thinking when I said that. Mmm, this smells a lot more refined. Yeah, this smells like a more refined version, but this is giving kind of on the feels of this, but this is, like I said, a little more refined, a little more sexy. This is very much... <laughs> oh, they smell so much alike to me. Mm. It smells like I could wear these together. I'm gonna probably layer these and see how that works, but this kind of gives me more an unrefined version of this. Very masculine, in, in my opinion. It's masculine to me. I don't know why a woman would want to wear that. Like this here, I, I don't. It looks like, you know, by the packaging, this is for women, but it gives very. Ask you. I don't know. We have to see. You just sometimes first impression. You have to kind of work with things. You know, wear them over and over to get the real good gist of it. But baby, I'm sorry about that. That get on this. I don't. I, I didn't edit my video, so whatever happens, happens. So I did. I told y'all one of the last videos. This chair is falling apart. <laughs> so you just gotta. You just gotta bear with me. You know, when I gather my life together. And I have time to edit, which I probably won't because I'm busy. I got things to do. So it's like a one take and we got to get out of there. <laughs> okay. This is not the recording studio. All right. Okay. So this next one here, Dragon Fruit. 
This one has notes of fruity floral, pineapple. This is a fruity floral. It has notes of pineapple, dragon fruit, watermelon, plum blossom, lotus flower, peony, ooh, and uh, sugared amber, vanilla bean, sandalwood. Now, this one off the bat, when I smell it, I'm like, this smells like something. And when I first got it, when I first smelled it, I should say, I was like, it smells like a watermelon fragrance because it has a watermelon note in there. So, duh. And so my first instinct was to go to Batik, um, this watermelon fragrance from Aroma Concepts. My first thought was to go to this. And I'm like, okay, if it'll focus, what is going on today? That one right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we are working on ghetto time today. So my first thought was to go to this. And I'm like, oh, it's kind of smell like this. But if this had like a vanilla note in it, which you don't. And then, you know, I got to smell it around a little bit more. And I was like, boom, boom, boom. There it is right there. It smells to me like Eden Juicy Apple by Kaali. Now, the girls, and I mean the girls and the gays, <laughs> they're saying that this smells like uh, the lychee, Eden lychee or whatever. I have not smelled that in a long time. If you don't know, I had that fragrance, the travel size. I hated it. So I gave it to my best friend and she hated it. <laughs> <laughs> but she said it was she said she tolerated it. she didn't really like it so the girls are saying that this smells like the lychee i don't know how lychee smells anymore it's been a long time since i smelled it but i know i didn't like it i like this and so with this i don't know let me see there's not an apple note that's the crazy part but this to me smells identical to this so this is my scent of the day <laughs> This is my, so I put this on, you know, under, you know, my body, you know, some body spray stuff, put it on all over my body. And then I went in with my K. Ali Juicy Apple. And I didn't stop there because I had to take it to um, Amazon and get and add my love apple. I added this oil all over my body. So there's not an apple note in here, but to me, it smells almost identical to me. I don't know. Maybe, you know, maybe on your nose, you may smell something different, but to me, they're very similar. Again, I don't know how the lychee smells anymore. It's been a long time since I smelled it. It could smell exactly like that, but I didn't like lychee. I like this one. It smells like this to me. This is like kind of like a cheaper, not cheap, well, a less expensive version of this to me. Not exactly alike, but very similar in yeah, but this is so sexy. This is a forever fragrance for me because I like this fragrance, but the fact that a lot of people, I've got more compliments with this fragrance on, I'm going to probably keep this. I know you're not supposed to worry about compliments, but if people are complimenting you and you like it, why am I going to deprive them of, you know, noticing that I smell good every time I'm in a place wearing this? I mean, why would I do that? So I'm going to buy it again. So to me, that could I could be totally wrong. I'm not saying I said I'm the unprofessional fragrance and skincare a person. I don't claim to know everything, but in my opinion, those two smell like and that is why I have that as my scent of the day. Now, I am going to end this. If you've seen my short thing, you have seen this. Baby, it is from Mason Francis Cartijan Perry. And this is the Baccarat Rouge 540 Shimmering Body Oil. I have been debating for weeks and months on whether or not I am going to, I was going to get this body oil. First of all, there was one point where, if I get it to focus, there was one point where, this, you can even find this anywhere. Now I said on oh, my short, and I still stand by it, a lot of people give Baccarat Rouge, the business. Now, I don't know if I was going to repurchase it. I have, I'll probably repurchase um, Extrait sometime soon because I think this fragrance is really amazing. I think it's one of a kind. I don't think the dupes quite hit it the way it should have been hit it. They did, I, right. but I think a lot of people are saying here and like, oh my God, I'm so tired of it. It's overrated. You smell it everywhere. I'm like, are y'all really smelling it everywhere? Or are y'all smelling the dupes of it? Because this right here, 
is I haven't smelled it anywhere. I did go to a party uh, with Kimberly in Foster. I think that's her name on uh, YouTube. She had an amazing Christmas party one time. And there was somebody in there that had it on. But I couldn't honestly, I don't know if they really had it on or they had the goop because it smelled good. It just didn't, it don't smell, maybe it just smelled different on her body chemistry. I could smell it. But I was just like, is that a goop? Is that, is that your, I don't know. Is that a goop? I was doing that. But we'll say she had it on. But that was the only time I've smelled this scent. And for people to say that it's everywhere, where are y'all smelling it at? Are y'all, where are you smelling? This fragrance is expensive. And I don't know too many people personally, even with money, that would spend this much on a fragrance. Unless, you know, it really blew their socks away. They're not fragrance heads like that. That's why they have money, because they don't spend it on fragrances like I do. <laughs> Who cares? Anyway, so... I love the scent of this. And so I I know I was going up and down, like whether or not I was going to get it. But I was like, you know, Durant, just go on and get it because it's going to stay on your mind. Just go on and get it. So I really, let me tell you something. Mason, Francis, Cartijan, uh, Perry, they have put everybody in danger. And let me tell you how after I show you how this works. So, you know, a lot of people complain about how it dispenses, but I really actually like it because I don't want the product just, you know, freaking uh, pouring all over the place and I'm wasting my money. Wait a minute, baby, can you tell the difference? I sprayed this on, so it kind of ruined the scent, but it's still giving me what I need. I wore this to the studio, baby. My engineer was like, dang, you smell good, <laughs> you know? And I had on Jackie's uh, You Remind Me, so I wore this, and uh, You Remind Me while I was recording my song. So when you hear my song, you'll be like, oh, I know what fragrance he wore. Anyways, so I really am happy about this. It really feels good. It doesn't feel oily. It makes my skin look nice. And look at that. That's just so amazing. It's 200 I think it was $215. I spent about $230 uh, with shipping and everything. But let me tell you something. They have really put a lot of you people in danger because what I am right now is I'm fed up. I am fed up with being in 2024 and you brands are taking too long to ship products. I don't care what you have going on. It is no excuse. If y'all are able to send these content creators, free gifts and stuff, you're able to get the people who are paying money, their gift, their stuff within a week. My thing is now, if I'm buying something from a brand or anybody, if I don't get it within a week, I'm not supporting them anymore. And if you are a black owned business, it's a week and a half. That's all I'm giving you. I don't care. Because if you're able to do all of this, give everybody freebies, do all these pictures and videos on Instagram, well, that ain't, that ain't the same. I don't give a damn. It's the same to me. If you got all that time and energy to do that, you have time to get people's items that they pay for to them in a timely manner. Now, this, this right here, I ordered this after I uh, ordered something from Soy Avant-Garde. Um, I ordered this after I ordered that and got it before. I still don't know where Soy Avant-Garde uh, product is. Now, I, of course, it's probably going to take a little longer, but I'm just saying, okay, this is here before. And let me tell you something. With these here, I ordered these from Sephora. Ordered these from Sephora. Ordered this after. Got it before. I got this. So that's what I mean by they have put y'all in danger. I'm not going to play these games no more because I am working hard. I'm over here tired. So I don't want to deal with all of this waiting uh, 50, 11 years for something I done paid for. No more. <laughs> no more. And there's brands that are exceptions to it. Uh, I would say Skin Muse, but Skin Muse don't play them games. Because Skin Muse already got some. I done ordered something uh, from Skin Muse. And it should be here tomorrow already. It ain't even been a week. Um, I ordered uh, T.S. Madison's new fragrance. It wasn't even a week. It's going to be here tomorrow. So I'm giving everybody a week. <laughs> and if you are a small business owner, like there's small businesses that I support. Like... Um, um, there's a business in Dallas, Irving, Texas, that's called My Painty Cakes, MyPaintyCakes.com. They have uh, very nice uh, body enhancers, uh, black-owned businesses. 
businesses like that, I will give the benefit because I know they have, it's been a week and a half, but I know how, you know, they're doing things over there. And so there's a little grace for them because I've, I've, you know, I'm closer to them, you know, I'm closer, you know, I have a little more of a, you know, uh, I have more of a soft spot for them, but everybody else know, <laughs> everybody else know. It's a week for me. Like, if I'm just, that's just how it is. And I mean, nobody needs my little money anyway. I mean, you got all these other people. It's like, if y'all got all these influencers promoting your brands and y'all can't, you know, uh, meet the demand and the speed of, you know, people wanting to be, you know, support your brand because of that influencer, then why do you have all these influencers promoting your brand? It just doesn't make sense to me. So, when it comes to anybody, and that's Fleur, that's Kayali. Um, and Kayali, they always do great with shipping as well. And so I just don't see like, what's the, what's, what's the problem? Why is it taking so long for people to ship stuff? So <laughs> Bath and Body Works is notorious for that. Ah, you know, notorious. So anyways, that's my new thing. If it's over a week, I'm not, I'm just not interested. Um, you know, um, we, I am a part of a Forever Moves Candle Club. There's already an understanding, you know, uh, you, the money comes out of your account this, and then around this time you're expecting the account. That's different. But when I order something, ding, 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 spend my money, boom, 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 I say a week. <laughs> no more than a week. And then, you know, a week and a half, that's only for black-owned businesses. <laughs> small black-owned businesses. Small black-owned businesses. So, um yeah, it's it's just I, I really gotta be stingy because it's like I gotta realize, Brent, you working hard. They out here uh using your little cash to buy bags and you know Chanel's and all this, and you sitting here scratching and surviving. Oh, we we gotta have a little more expectations for these people. No, 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 no. You, you better get with the program. Mother can have us in here within a week. Okay. Anyways, that was my little rant, and I know it doesn't matter. You're just one person. Okay, well, I'll be just one person not supporting. That's all it is. One person not supporting. Y'all can go support. Because <laughs> there's too many brands out here who are uh, small business and huge businesses that are getting orders, and they're coming in fast, and you're not even getting the express shipping. So I don't understand. I understand when things happen and stuff gets stuck in you know, USPS or whatever. I understand that. But as far as things not being shipped to about a week or the label not even being created to about a week, hell no. No. No, 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 mm -mm. So, and you know, if that happens, I'm just like, baby, you might as well just go and take this back. I don't even want it. That's the rhythm for what I'm going to do. So I'm, I'm tired of playing with anybody. Maybe because I'm exhausted. I just need a little rest. <laughs> just irritable right now so maybe i just need to get a little rest talk to my therapist tomorrow and get a little sleep you know take a little melatonin you know maybe i'll feel better tomorrow but today i'm just like get it together damn it anyways i love you thank you everybody for subscribing hope you like this video um i got some more stuff coming this stuff is taking forever to come here you know and so as soon as I get it, I'll come and talk to you about it. And baby, please get ready for my new song coming out. It's very, I cannot believe with this song. This is the shortest song I've ever recorded. Usually my songs are like three minutes and a half to five. This one is under three. I'm trying to make it more than three because it's just not a song to me if it's not three minutes. So, but the song is like two minutes and 49 seconds. I'm like, hold on. Am I becoming one of these newfangled R&B artists? <laughs> but anyways, uh, I'm going to put it out sometime soon. Right now, we're just uh, mix mixing and mastering. Um, and then I don't know what else I'm going to do. I just don't know. We'll see. Anyways, y'all have a good one. Uh, take care of yourselves. Take care of your loved ones. Please don't let people stress you out like they're stressing me out because, baby, we both can't be stressed. One of us got to be cool, calm, collected because you got to come help me, okay? I need your help when I get stressed. Anyways, y'all have a good one. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye. Oh. Bye. <laughs>
What is just happened? What just happened here? I knew this. I knew all my life I had to fight. All my life I had to fight. This raggedy, you done scratched on my wall, you bastard. You done scud. Damn it, you raggedy ass piece of shit, y'all. This is what happens when you're not with. See, I want the soft life. Living the soft life. I want the soft life. Give me the soft life. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This shit.